What's going on, people? Jada Black here. You know, I'm really getting tired of people always running to the media to post videos and to make accusations when there's really no solid proof that a person did anything. And I'm going to start addressing that in videos, especially regards to black men. Because here you have people like Amanda Seals, who claims that she's for black people, but she will be quick to throw a black man under the bus. Okay? Now, I'm going to get to her hypocrisy. Somebody sent me a video. It was a, a young lady, young black female, who sent me a video first of Amanda Seals speaking about this yesterday. Okay? In her own video. I guess she addressed... You know, a guy who she felt like had harassed her on a show. She didn't say his name, but then people came to her and said, was it this guy? And she then posted a video saying, yeah, that was the guy. And we're going to get into Amanda Seals' hypocrisy, okay? Because here you have Amanda Seals who's saying that ex-NFL player and current, uh, no, ex-college ex football star, NFL player, Rhodes Scholar, neurosurgeon she wants to talk about how he's a sexual harasser but she's cool with a guy who was accused of assaulting a female and admitted to basically taking it from his wife when they, around the time they first met now this was his words he laughed and joked about that he laughed and joked about sleeping with a woman while she was high up on something that's what he said and that's her friend. But we're going to get into this. Now, I got a couple different articles in front of me. I have what is being said in this whole situation. And I also have his response. Okay. Now, according to EW News, popular American actress. Well, I've, it's not popular to me. but And comedian Amanda Seals has accused Bahamian former National Football League player Myron Rowe. A Florida State University Rhodes Scholar and Harvard neurosurgeon of sexual harassment. Seals, best known for her role as Tiffany Dubois on HBO's Insecure, spoke about her alleged experience while on The Breakfast Club and her own podcast, Small Doses, without naming anyone. However, she later named role in her Instagram story. That was the video that was sent to me. As reported by the Miami Herald, Seals claimed that the alleged harassment took place during phone conversations and correspondence on the internet where she said she was first approached. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to hold my opinion until I read the rest of this, but I want y'all to tell, I'm going to let y'all know why this is BS. Okay. How can somebody harass you while you're having a phone conversation with them? You haven't provided any text messages of him being sexually derogatory towards you. Um, and she hasn't said any explicit details of those conversations. If she has, you can tell me in the comment section or you can send it to me. As, let's see, hold on. I, on my podcast and on The Breakfast Club, spoke about an individual who had approached me on the internet and we spoke on the phone and they said some troubling things in the conversation that made me take a step back seal said instagram story she claimed that she learned another woman had come forward about an incident involving the former florida state player in that alleged incident seals claimed that the unnamed woman met roe at his hotel room and he allegedly greeted her at the door with no clothes on you have a situation okay where a woman is meeting Myron Roll at a hotel. He comes to the door with no clothes on. First off, why are you meeting this man at a hotel? You're not meeting him out for coffee. You're not meeting him for, for dinner. You're meeting this man at a hotel room. Maybe that was one of the reasons why he showed up at the door with no clothes on. Now, does that make Myron Roll creepy? Yes, that's very creepy, dude, to open your hotel door and you have nothing on. I mean, what if a guy was working there and, and you know, he happened to walk by and he, you're out there exposing yourself, man? Or anybody else for that matter who don't know you. So that is very creepy. 
But if, is that harassment? No, because harassment would be if he showed up at her house with no clothes on. That's harassment. Her knocking on his door and him opening the door is not harassment, people. In alleged incident, Seals claim, uh, read that. Seals claim eight more women came forward accusing Roe of behaving in what she described as a sexually predatorial way. And what is that? Is that just being a man who is, uh, you know, who approaches women? Is that a guy who's touchy feely? Is that a guy who exposed himself? You have to, you have to give us specifics. Y'all are putting very ambiguous terms out there. You already put his name out there. Is that because you don't want him to sue you, Amanda? Is, is that why you're putting these ambiguous terms out there? Calls placed to roll were not returned up to press time. Roll was selected by the Tennessee Titans in the 2010 NFL draft. In 2012, he signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers and announced his retirement from the league in 2013. He has maintained a presence in the Bahamas with youth programs, including a Play for Progress initiative. The program has seen scares of children from across the country take part in the two-day camp which centers around three principles education personal development and the fundamentals of american football he has also hosted the myron l roll foundation's wellness and leadership academy bahamas edition okay uh let's see now let's take a look at myron rolls uh, statements because he did respond all right he responded on his instagram he says i understand that in today's world the responsibility falls on the accused to prove themselves innocent as opposed to the one alleged accuser having to prove their claims before going public unfortunately i have found myself the victim to these very circumstances a blogger online personality whom I have never met in person and have only interacted with once via phone recently claimed that I verbally harassed her during a phone call exchange. She furthered these claims by stating that anonymous sources have come forward and added their accounts to the narrative. But from the articles I have read, the only thing, and that was his statement, the only thing I could look at and say that this guy is in the wrong is him showing up at his door with no clothes on but to me uh, once again that makes him creepy that's a creepy thing to do but to just throw around sexual harassment and drag this guy's name through the mud that's not cool amanda quote unquote miss pro black and, you know again this if this guy would have shown up at this woman's house with no clothes on that to me is a form of harassment because he's showing up in her vicinity at her home with no clothes on unannounced well not unannounced but you know that that to me is harassment but you went to his hotel you didn't go to his house you didn't go to his apartment condo whatever you went to this man's hotel room what do you think was on his mind when you went to his hotel room we don't even know of the conversations they have had we don't know the text messages that were exchanged. And for these two, and I'm pretty sure, you know, well, one of them is black. I don't know what the race of the other one is. But what I want to know is this, Amanda. Did you have a specific purpose to go on the Breakfast Club and try to expose this man without actually exposing him? Because the guy that you're cool with, Charlemagne the God, he's been accused. And he's even admitted to being a, a creepster, uh, you know, to being a, a deviant. OK, and that's your buddy and you cool with him. You see, these females will call out these other people, but they won't call out their friends, their buddies. They only call out their friends when everybody else is calling them out and there's no way that they can defend them. To me, I think this guy probably just has creep creepster behavior, but come on, harassment. And I have not, in the articles I have read, there has not been one shred of evidence or receipts that this guy is out here harassing. Now, if there's more information to come out, I will make a video on that. But I think it is highly unfair for Amanda to be out here publicly dragging somebody's name through the mud 
when she has no proof she only knows about what some female told her you should have asked that woman why are you showing up at a hotel room what what was you going to do at a hotel room seriously do you know how difficult it is for a woman to go to a man's house but you gonna go to a man's hotel room Come on, man. I'm pretty sure there are some text messages that have been exchanged between my own role and this woman. She done probably sent him pictures of herself. He probably done sent her pictures. And that situation, again, we know nothing about. But I just find it very, very unfair to drag somebody's name through the mud when, there, when you really have no proof your damn self that he has done anything that requires him to be a sexual harasser. Okay, and then they want to invoke Me Too. How are you going to invoke Me Too when he hasn't assaulted, well, there hasn't been any reports of him assaulting anybody? You're just putting things out there because the, the, the woman who started the Me Too movement, it was originally targeted towards black men. And I think that there are black women who align with that 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 reasoning of uh, that thinking of this particular female they wanted to go back in that direction that's who they want to target and this could be a way for them to do that but this this is a very intelligent guy he probably got all the receipts he probably got recorded phone calls this is why again amanda was not quick to put his name out there because she knows that she's probably making some of this shit up okay and she knows that he could sue her and she doesn't want to go through that she wants to put the emphasis on all these other women coming forward while she sits in the background and talk about i had no idea this was going on but since it's going on i'm gonna go ahead and put his name out there unfucking believable y'all let me know this thing in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts